Hey everybody, coming to you again with another Bible review. This time we're going to be looking at the Christian Standard Bible. Uh, this one was provided by B&H Lifeway. Uh, this one is a Holman uh, Christian Standard Bible. This is a single column personal size Bible. This is a new series that they just came out with. And uh, one of the things that makes this unique is the single column format. Um, you don't see a lot of those out there. Uh, it's very similar uh, to their pastor's Bible uh, that they have out. I have one of those as well. Uh, I'll tell you some of the differences and some of the pros and cons to it. But first I want to look at this one. And as you can see, it comes in a, a clamshell box. The one that they sent me is a black leather touch. Uh, there's also a brown genuine leather or it's a goat skin leather. Uh, you can get these online, as you can see here, for about 30 bucks. Um, so let's open it up and look at it. <laughs> Excuse me. So coming out of the box, it has a real nice feel to it. It is perimeter stitched around through here. Uh, you can really see it on the inside because it has the red uh, stitching on the inside, black on the outside. Uh, the feel of it's it's nice, it's smooth, it's soft. Um, it feels a lot like leather. You can see here on the back, it has gold stamping. It has the CSB symbol, Holy Bible, uh, Christian Standard Bible, and Holman. Now, this one does come with two ribbons on it. And I just pulled this out of the box. So the pages are going to be stuck together. It's going to be hard to uh, get these out. But as you can see down here, it comes with a black and a red ribbon. These are probably... Uh, three sixteenths of an inch. Uh, they're, they're the regular size ribbons that you're going to find in most of your Bibles. It does have a paste down liner as you can see right here. And one of the things that I have noticed about these is that the these are notorious for them to come off. I, I know when I, I reviewed the pastor's Bible, uh, when I got it out of the box, these were coming loose. They were already coming loose. It looks like they may have improved on that. Uh, it, it doesn't look like these are doing that. This one is Smith sewn, and you can always tell whether or not it's Smith sewn. If you open it up to the first pages, you can see the threads here in the gutter. This is what they call the gutter of your Bible. And you can see where those threads come through. Now this one is gold gilded, as you can see here, beautiful gold gilded. And the size on this, for it being a personal size, is good. Uh, I was actually expecting for it to be maybe a little smaller, maybe more along the lines of the size of uh, maybe a little bigger than a PSQ. But this one is a, a fairly decent sized Bible. Uh, it's a good Bible to carry around, good Bible to take to church with you. And the CSB translation, I think, is just a, the best all-around translation that they have out available today. Now... One of the things that you'll notice about the CSB, let me open it up here where you can see it. This one, as you can see here, is single column format. It's not a verse by verse, it's a paragraph format, which means your verses are gonna be separated in the sides here, inside of these uh, paragraphs. Ideally, I would prefer to see a verse by verse uh, Bibles published. So, B&H, Lifeway, if you're watching this, I would love to see this kind of format in a verse-by-verse. Verse. Uh, you see a lot of that by Lockman, uh, their single column reference. Uh, John MacArthur just put out the Preacher's Bible, uh, various other different ones, but the verse-by-verse, verse, if you could do that. I don't know, uh, I think maybe the large print ultra-thin CSBs are in verse-by-verse, verse, Verse, but verse by verse, excuse me, but not the single column format. It's ideal for pastors and preachers. Uh, so let's get back to this. This does have uh, topical subheadings, as you can see here. And this is a black letter text. This is not a red letter. Uh, the words of Christ are not in red. As you can see, this is uh, Luke, and there's no red letters. And so that's the kind of text you're going to find in through here. Now, this text is fairly large. Like I said, this is a 10 point. Uh, type the the pastor's bible the csb pastor's bible is a 12 
and it's a it's quite a bit larger Bible I like it as well uh, but this one does have your footnotes at the bottom and like I said it is topical subheadings and in the paragraph format so that's what you have there uh, of course in the back you're gonna have your full colored maps and this one actually does have a few pages a few line pages you can see there for notes as well as your concordance and uh, weight uh, tables uh, weights and measures I'll get it out table of weights and measures and then also here in the back and I think the pastor's Bible has this as well it's a word to turn page where you can find different topics you know uh, when you sin here is one that gives you the scripture verse uh, when the devil comes after you so various little helps that you'll find uh, at the beginning of course you do have a uh, presentation page like all good Bibles and then it has the information on the CSB uh, if you're not familiar with the CSB it is a uh, kind of in between it's called optimal um, equivalence and it's an in between it, it, it's not as literal as say a, a new American Standard Bible and it's not as dynamic as a NIV like a thought for thought Bible so it's kind of middle ground I really like it uh, it's definitely worth your time to check out if you like the CSB Bible uh, if you like single column format which I do this is a great idea to pick up one of these you can't go wrong and like I said if you don't like the black you don't like the leather touch they do have the brown uh, goat skin uh, genuine leather I have seen those uh, pictures of them I've not seen them in my hand it's going to be the exact same thing as this one uh, this Bible also doesn't have any uh, book introductions or anything like that it's just a straight uh, text Bible uh, no book introductions nothing but the text itself subtopical uh, headings and single column format with the reference down here at the bottom so hopefully this has give you an idea about this Bible. It comes in a, a great looking box, as you can see. Um, for, for 30 bucks, I don't think you can go wrong on this one. Like I said, you can pick these up at Lifeway. Go to your Lifeway store. Uh, get them online. Uh, Lifeway.com, Christian Bookstore. There's all kinds of different places you can pick these up at. And I don't think you could go wrong with this one. I really like this one. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.